Enough of all the questions asked during last night's debate, a query about Canada generated one of the liveliest exchanges. It came during the phone-in part of the debate, which apparently jammed Washington's phone lines. And of the tiny handful of callers who managed to get through, one was from here in B.C. We're back with an after debate on Larry King Lime. Back to your phone calls for Vice President Al Gore and Ross Perot. Nanaimo, British Columbia. Hello. Hi, it's Nanaimo. I'd like to know what Mr. Perot and Mr. Gore have both learned from the previous free trade agreement between Canada and the U.S. Both learn, Ross? Well, just by watching it, first thing, thousands of people joined the United We Stand America out of Canada. I couldn't figure out why, so I checked. They were mad at NAFTA. Then I watched the election. The Conservative Party had 155 seats and the Prime Minister. There's a message here for both political parties in the United States. After the dust cleared, they had two seats in Parliament, no Prime Minister. NAFTA. Reason, reason, NAFTA. But this is, this is an important question, and it's important to realize that only one of the parties in that election campaigned against the basic NAFTA treaty. That was the Socialists. They lost seats. They only got nine seats out of 258. And now the person who won has been talking with the President Clinton. This has been a good deal for both Canada and the United States. Both have gained jobs. Both have gained trade flows. Both have become more competitive in the world marketplace as a result. And there is a tooth fairy and there is an Easter bunny. Nanaimo, the hub city of Vancouver Island, has an economic base tied to forestry and fishing. It's a growing community with a population of 70,000. Serving central Vancouver Island from Nanaimo, this is 1570 CHUV, 21 in front of one. Eric Thompson along with you. Getting ready. Tens of thousands of people hear Eric Thompson's radio show every day. But last night, his audience was in the millions. Eric was the only Canadian call to make it through on Larry King's special debate on free trade. Oh, Nanaimo, British Columbia. Hello. Hi, it's Nanaimo. I'd like I tried for about 10 or 15 minutes and was quite surprised when I actually got through and the uh, phone all of a sudden started ringing. I was using the redial, and uh, they asked me my question. I told them I made sure I was really brief and concise, and uh, she said, okay, hold on a few minutes, and then I waited for 45 minutes in total. A few times they came back on to make sure I was there, and then she briefed me and said that uh, I'd be up next and told me not to, not to say my name, no funny business, or they'd cut me off, and uh, she came on and said, you're next. I said, okay. And why did he wait so patiently for his few seconds of fame? I thought it was a pertinent question because that was the only time I heard them talk about Canada. I think a lot of Canadians were watching it thinking, uh, excuse me, I think we forgot one part of the deal there, guys. Now that Eric has received international exposure, he's got another question he'd like to ask if he's ever lucky enough to get through on CNN a second time. When does Larry King retire? 